welcome friends in this video uh, we will discuss the elements used in the uh, finite element analysis so we will see which type of elements are used there uh, in the finite element analysis frequently the question is asked in the examination regarding this uh, what type of elements are used in the uh, analysis also state their application so uh, there are mainly three types of elements uh, which are used uh, in the finite element analysis first one is one dimensional element second two dimensional and third one three dimensional element so we'll see one by one uh, in the one dimensional element we have the two noded bar element uh, that is having degree of freedom of two so it is shown here uh, it is a bar element uh, in which this is uh, this one and this one these are the nodes for this element uh, second element um, uh, these are uh, these elements are used uh, in the finite element analysis when uh, large structure is to be uh, uh, discretized means uh, we are converting this into the smaller parts whenever we are considering a plane uh, member or structure in the parts you will uh, use 2d element when you are considering uh, you are dividing a single line element into number of small elements then uh, you will use bar elements okay so uh, this is three noded bar element first one was two noded bar element this one was this one is three noded bar element so uh, i have shown this three noded bar element one two three these are the nodes of this uh, element and it is having uh, degree of freedom equal to 3 again uh, the third example under the heading of one dimensional element is uh, it is of uh, beam element in uh, in this uh, we have show, uh, shown two uh, nodes uh, which is having degree of freedom of, uh, of 4 the second type of element is 2d elements in which uh, the the first example i have taken that is of uh, triangular element which is having degree of freedom equal to 6 and uh, at each uh, node i have taken two degrees of uh, two degree of freedoms so u u1 v1 at node 1 u2 v2 at node 2 u3 v3 at node 3 so it uh, the total degree of freedom will be 6 so this is triangular element this is a rectangular element sometimes if the uh, pattern of uh, the deformation is irregular in that case we can uh, choose such type of quadrilateral element okay which is having degree of freedom equal to 8 again so uh, this is 8 noded curve element so it is having eight nodes if the shape of the structure is becoming more critical or irregular so at that time uh, or you can say that for uh, structures like shell we can use this element uh, this is plate bending element okay it is having degree of freedom equal to 12 this is shell element uh, this can be also uh, used for uh, analysis of shell now third type is three, three, dim uh, three dimensional elements in which uh, first element or first example uh, which is taken uh, is of four no uh, noded tetrahedron so i have shown the direction and uh, as this element is 3d element so that's why at every node uh, we have three uh, displacement so that's why i have shown uh, three displacement at every node so u1 v1 w1 at node 1 u2 likewise so it will have degree of freedom equal to 12 because we have four nodes the second example is of hexahedron so it is having total number of node equal to 8 so that's why 8 3 is 24 24 will be the degree of freedom so these are the elements which are used in the uh, finite element analysis now uh, we will see what are the applications of these elements 
so applications are written here uh, application of 1d elements uh, can be taken as analysis of truss uh, sorry truss beam etc so in the analysis of truss uh, the two noded bar element three noded bar element can be used whereas in the analysis of beam we can use beam element the 2d elements are used for analysis of plane stress uh, plane strain plate bending shell structure uh, arc uh, discretized using shell element so shell element or curve element i have already told you th uh, about that uh, arc elements are discretized using shell element or curve element 3d elements now we'll see what is the application of 3d elements uh, 3d elements are used for three dimensional analysis of axis symmetric solid then we uh, we can use it for rock rock mechanics also so these are the applications of the elements used in the uh, fine uh, finite element analysis okay uh, uh, we'll see the shape function uh, in the next video thank you